morning. I'm Mrs. Parkinson, and we're at Jackson Davis Elementary School, and these are my wonderful third graders, and today we're doing a lesson on synonyms and antonyms. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How's everybody? Good. Good. All right, we had a nice long three-day weekend. Yeah. Who went apple picking? Mm, did you bring me one? No. Okay. I'll bring you one with a yellow. Okay. Who went to the pumpkin patch? And I know somebody was going to be in a homecoming parade Friday night and maybe went to the football game, too. Who else went to a football game? How'd that go? Was it fun? Good. Good. Excellent. But my little cousin had to go to bed. Had to go to bed at half time. Because their mom was like, it has to be strict thing about half time. Oh, well. Well, at least you got to see some of it. Okay. Me and my sister could stay with my Excellent. Well, those are all activities that we associate with fall. fall. With fall. So last week, we learned about synonyms and antonyms. And this week, we're going to review that and then tie our unit on synonyms and antonyms to our writing unit. So what we're going to do this morning is um, I'm going to put you in groups using our popsicle sticks. Groups of three. We'll have a couple groups of two since we have some friends absent. And you guys are going to rotate through my clipboards and on the clipboard I have a picture of a fall activity or maybe just what um, outside might look like during the fall and what you're going to do is you're going to come up with as many words that you can that maybe describe the picture or name the activity um, or tell how we might feel when we're doing that activity or we're in that place. Okay, And when you come up with your words, you're going to go to the computers. There's a Padlet sitting on each of the computer stations. And you're going to type some of those words on there. And we'll all be able to see them on the board as we're typing. So what you're going to do when you get in your groups <laughs> is you're going to pick someone to be a recorder. That's the person who's going to write down the words that you guys come up with. Someone's going to be a typer. And that's the person who's going to go to the computer station and use the keyboard. And then we're going to have a monitor because this is going to be a voice level one activity. If you're a group of two, both of you can monitor the voice level. Can you remind me just quickly how we can positively monitor our voice level if somebody in our group is getting out of hand? Tell me what we could do, Morgan. Perfect. Right. Or maybe just quietly say, remember voice level one. Okay? Great job. All right, let's get our groups first. One, six, five. One, six, five. Where's five? Oh, absent. One. One, six, seven. Who's seven? All right, one, six, seven, your group. Don't leave just a second. Hold on. One, six, seven. Thirteen, four, and eight. Thirteen, four, eight. Okay. Your group. Two, fourteen, ten. Raise your hands. Okay. Um, and then my group's a two. Fifteen and eleven. And... Nine and three. Nine is three. Or nine, three. Okay, perfect. All right. In just a moment, whoever is going to be the first recorder, you're going to get your clipboard and you are going to get a piece of notebook paper. And I'll give you the notebook paper here in a second. Okay? Decide who's the first typer and who the first monitor is. Because each time you get to a different picture, you'll switch jobs so everyone gets a chance to be a reporter and type room and monitor. Okay? Okay. Here are my, I'm going to place these around the room. They just have different fall pictures on it. You're going to brainstorm your words that somehow relate to this picture. Don't worry about the synonym and antonym part yet. We'll get to that part second, okay? So go back, whoever the report, get in your groups, decide who, what the jobs are, go back and get your um, clipboard, and I'm going to get your paper. I'll be 
All right, can everyone who is the first recorder bring your clipboard to me and get your paper? Get your clipboard and get your piece of paper. Okay. Hannah's group, go pick a picture to sit at. We're using my clipboard for. Samudra's group, go pick a picture to sit at. Vertika's group, the same. Shannon's group, go pick a picture to sit at. They're all around. Go pick a picture. All right, is everybody at a picture? Everyone know who the recorder is? Okay. Everyone know who the voice monitor is? Wonderful. And the typer? Hmm? There's one here. Oh, right there. Right there. And I'm the paper. Okay, so what you're going to do together, brainstorm some words that you would associate. Now look at the categories we have up here. Think about using your senses. Describe what you see, what you might hear if you were in that place, what you might smell or touch, and in some cases maybe taste. There's one picture that's really good for taste. You might come up with different words for the places or the activities that are happening here. And then maybe, how are you feeling, or what emotions do you have if you're in that place or doing that activity? Okay? Two minutes with this picture. Once you have some words, go to a computer station and type your words in the appropriate column. Go. Two minutes. Okay. It's been a pumpkin patch. What else? What might it feel like on your skin? Cold. Good. Colorful. Cold. Honey, it doesn't matter about spelling, just, just so you know what it is. Colorful and cold. Good. Good. Keep going. Come up with a few more. I bet you can. We have about one minute left. Oh, you guys have the best picture for taste. Yummy, happy, tasty, good. How about what might um what might that taste like? Sunny? Oh, spicy would be good. Typically, cranberries are what? Sweet. Yeah, those are great words. Great words. Okay, about 30 seconds left with this picture. What's your picture? Yeah, you should have your own picture. Pumpkin, good. Okay, what are you feeling when you're at the pumpkin patch? Happy. Happy. Think about, do you ever taste anything at the pumpkin patch? So that tastes what? And don't worry about spelling. Get them in as best you can and we'll worry about spelling later. Oh, there should be five up, honey. One, two, three, four, five. Alright. And go up to mine. Go up to mine. Go the one on the beam. Add the plus sign. Right here. Mm -hmm. Where's your group? Okay, would that be an activity? Senses. So where's your, where are you typing? Can I type? Hi, friends. Remember, you're, you're putting in the actual senses that you are touching or smelling or seeing. That's what you should be putting in there, not just the names of our senses. Okay, finish typing whatever you're typing, and then I need you to go to your next picture. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Hey, if you're already done, go choose a new picture. Good. Oh, that's excellent. Good job. Okay, go choose a new one. Go choose a new one. Great job, guys. Okay, you should be at a new picture now. Shannon, may I have the clipboard back? You took the picture, honey. Yeah, go put that back over there. Let's see. 
There you go. Samudra, come on, hi. Just start. So what does this make you think? Sports, football. So what do you feel at a football game? Nervous. That's a great one. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. What do you hear when you're at sporting events? Cheering. Put those down. See? Keep going. All right, y'all. What are you coming up with? Love it. How would you describe that road? Hmm. Yeah, keep going. Okay. How are we doing? Let's see, what are you coming up with? Um, uh, last time I uh, was the writer of so, um, you know, what are you coming up with for the picture? I see the How do you think you're feeling when you're in that place? I think I'm feeling happy because I like to Put happy down. Put happy down. Good. What's the weather look like? All right, finish up whatever word you're currently writing down. Find a computer station. Start writing them down. Thanks so much. Yes. Those are great. I think you're good. Go to a station. Okay, so we're typing now. Remember to add a plus sign or to click on the plus sign. Let's delete some of these. I got to get my Oh, we got it. Okay. Try to add some words that aren't already up there. So check the, the screen. Make sure the word you've got isn't already listed. Did you put Sunny? Where's Sunny? Okay, so what is Sunny? Wouldn't that be a sense? Sunny. Good. Did you put Sunny? That would be a Sunny, wouldn't it? This shoe right here? You know, it's creative in the word. No, it's not creative. Great, y'all came up with some amazing words for these. Now, we've been talking about synonyms and antonyms. Do all of the words we came up with have synonym, synonyms and antonyms? No. They don't, and that's okay. Because we can still use these words for our writing prompt. This is saved on my computer now, and so when we transition to the writing prompt later this week, and I'll put all of these back on. But what we're going to look at now, for instance, under senses, you've got the word colorful. Can you think of a word that might mean the opposite of colorful? Opposite of colorful. What do you think, Anna? Plain. Good. Dull. Oh, that's a great one. Dark. Okay. Um, that would be like plain, wouldn't it? Blank. Blank. I like that one too. What about synonyms for colorful? Can you think of another word that means colorful? Bright. Bright. Okay. Rainbow. Rainbow. Um, colors. Um, so that's got the word color in it, like colorful. Maybe pretty. 
we can probably think of some different ones. Pretty would go with another one that I saw up there. Um, so what we're going to do is you're going to go back to your seats now, and I'm going to give you this graphic organizer. You're going to look at our list, and you might only choose one or two today that you, as you were writing them down, you know, when we were talking about synonyms and antonyms, that you had already thought of, oh yeah, I know a synonym for this word, or I know an antonym for this word. So I'm going to give you the graphic organizer, and you're going to go back to your seats, and I'll scroll a little bit because there's a scroll bar now. Y'all added so many wonderful ideas. So you can look back at all the words that were added and just start to add a couple of words. We're going to finish this activity tomorrow, okay? But we're going to start it right now. Got it? Thanks for visiting our classroom today. Go!